Hey everyone, my name is Hirul Rawal. Welcome to The Way of Warp Part 1. In this lesson, we will talk about how to change position using warp and how to mix two different noises. So let's quickly start. Let's understand what is warp. Warp is wax operator and why we use it? It's uh, useful for shading. So let's just check. Use this principal shader and if I go inside, uh, it's all warp. It's uh, useful to create shader also. But here we will use this to modify surface. So in this tutorial, we mainly focus on how to modify surface using warp. I need test geometry. Let's use this. And it's packed. So let's just unpack it. So let's use first attribute warp of this lesson. So attribute warp, right? So here that you need to check is run over. So, so you need to check which part it's running. So it's, there are points, primitives, vertices and numbers. What are these? And if I middle click over here, so we have these points, primitives, vertices. And here we need to modify this points attribute specifically. So here we will run over points. So if I check this, it will run on each points, right? So let's dive inside. So here we have two nodes and one is geometry warp global and second one is geometry warp output. And so this node will input all those attributes which we want and here it's output of these attributes. So let's just rename this to easy to understand and you don't have to do this every time. It's just for demo purpose, right? Input and output. So first we have P and P stands for position. It's a vector value. If you want to identify what is vectors, it's, it's visible here that based on color. So you can just check those things. So if it's integer, it's dark blue. So for here, I'll just connect this position to its position. And whatever we want to modify, we can just do it in between. And before modifying anything, we need to understand few basic fundamentals. So let's just for that, let me take transform. To understand something, we can always compare it to the real world that how it's working. So let's just assume that we are standing over here and I want to take one step forward, right? So how we will do that? And we can just straight away walk, right? But here, technically, we are adding one step in our current position. So I have specifically mentioned adding here right so here whatever you want to move so we are basically adding in the current position right so if you want to go backward we will subtract one step from our current position and one more thing i would like to mention is we don't have to know complex maths to understand all those specifically warp and wrangle so basic knowledge of maths is useful like so how to subtract how to divide things and houdini is like a calculator you need to just put all those numbers it will calculate for yourself and it will calculate even complex maths as well so you just need to remember those basic formulas and how to do all those things so let's just check how we can achieve this using warp so here as i have mentioned i want to add in my current position right to add any value we can just use constant so these are the nodes to add values so let me just connect this and i want one step so it's taking one step forward so it's adding this value in all those axes as it's a vector so we need three values right so for that i will just click over here and i will i will use three floats and you can check here it's a z axis right so i'll just add one step forward right so that's how it's like adding one step in current position so if you want to go backward here we can just subtract this value right so if it will go backward but here you can just always use negative value to go backward and that's how you can just do these things right and now i will show you how to add noise also using this warp so for that let's use grid i need enough resolution so here also it's adding that value or we don't want this anymore so let's just delete it and how do we add noise right to add any noise so you can just search any noise so here i'll use one of my favorite turbulent noise which i use most of the time so here if you check it has some input you can check we have this position 
hand position it will take each points position and it will give us some noise and to check noise we can connect it to cd so we can see here that we have a noise right so we can make changes to here and it has all those different types so as a homework i'll just suggest you to study all those noise and so one of my favorite noise is simplex noise i use a lot you can just make some changes and yeah so it's really amazing right and similar thing we can do using attribute noise also here that we have also similar kind of option you know and it has all those different type of noise and even more right but using this warp we can merge two different noises with different frequency right so how we can do that so as i have mentioned so we will mix two noise and so it has these three inputs one is for noise one noise two and bias here we have value from zero to one we have to connect this over here but we need specific value so how we know that so whatever color we are getting is it from zero to one or not so how do we check it so here come our friend geometry spreadsheet and while using warp and wrangle geometry spreadsheet is your friend so always just check those data and those numbers over here and let me just click and at first it will look like this and so we have all those numbers so you can see here that it's from minus 0.3 from plus 0.3 and yeah we don't want that right how do we convert this value into from 0 to 1 so for that we need fit range so we have range from minus 2 to plus 3 and that is what we can do over here and let's just connect this and just so here we can write minus but 0 is also good so let's just use 3 and straight away you can see here that yeah we are getting some things and let's just check and here we can do the minus also right but minus it will just give us this value so we let's keep it zero only and that is what we want so i'll so i will use this as a bias to mix two noises so let's just increase and and here i want different noise and here i'll just reduce it even more and i don't want this much right so point one is great and here so let's just connect this this way. cool so now let's use turbulent noise one more time connect this here and you can just in you can see here it's mixing all around but if i connect this over here it will apply to this black side only so that is what we want and here i'll use sparse noise and i'll just i want more frequency right and let me just make a room and after that i will use one more turbulent noise and maybe here i'll use alligator noise with a different frequency mm, maybe i'll just, just check to sim simplex yeah simplex is better we have two different noises and what is the advantage so we can use right so we can scatter based on these different noise frequencies scatter yeah so that's all for part one and see you next time